Paul, excellent afternoon for your side. Just give us your assessment on today's game. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Like you said, that's it. I think there can be no doubt that we that we deserve that. I think we yeah. could easily have scored a lot more goals. Their keeper made some fantastic saves. Some through, yeah, good goalkeeping, and others through just luck. I think. So yeah, we were strong. We were we were very good with the ball and created a lot of chances, and we were really aggressive without the ball as well, which made it difficult for Blackburn. You were really dominant right from the first whistle, weren't you, that first half? I don't think Blackburn had many touches in your penalty area. <laughs> no, we are good, yeah, like I say, we were good. We, listen, we want to play like that every game. Yeah, the intent is that, the but we know that's probably not always going to be the case. Um, so today we'll enjoy it because it went our way. How pleased are you with the way your side put the game to bed in the end? Blackburn had a little bit of uh, possession at the start of the second half, but you reaffirmed your grip on proceedings pretty quickly. Yeah, the chain, I think the, the good thing is we got the goal first half, when, like I say, the game just played in their half, and if you're going at nil nil, uh, we'd have been calling for patience from everyone, and we know Blackburn would have probably still sat in and tried to play on the counter. Um, the fact we got the goal meant they've got to do something different or just give us three points. So they changed shape a little bit and tried to press us, <clears throat> but the moment we we got to grips with that, then we just continued where we left off. Ollie Norwood, such a vital cog in your engine room. <coughs> How pleased were you for him to get that first goal this season? Yeah, it's a great goal. We, we have been doing a bit of work on that, but I say a little giggle in there because we spoke about their wall jumping and uh, so we were not fully intent on going under and then they laid a man down underneath that. So we went off the other bit. We'd seen, uh, Duke had seen that the keeper tends to gamble on the, and um, move across, take a step to make a save. So... Ollie reversed it and went back to the keeper's side and yeah, listen, even if the keeper hadn't made a step, I think he'd have struggled to save that. Ollie just been in here and said how much time you spend on set plays. It must give you a great deal of satisfaction to see it come off on, on the game. Yeah, they're important. I thought, yeah, I fancy to score from corners as well. Um, but Blackburn generally defended defending really well. In my opinion, there are a few penalties in there for shirt pulls and things, but we don't seem to be getting them. We had three the other night as well, so... <coughs> Excuse me, we, we've, uh, we might have to, listen, we try and highlight it with the refs, but we still want to be a threat from set plays regardless, so, yeah. Competition for places, we speak about it a lot, you made a few changes, the players who came back in did really well, then you bring someone like Illiman and Jai off the bench and it gets you two goals as well, I'm so really pleased with that aspect. Yeah, I just found out that that second one's claiming off his backside, so, <laughs> yeah, but he's, listen, no doubt that the spectacular one everyone will talk about. Um, we know he's capable of that. Like I say, I've seen him do that more than anyone, and it is what sets him apart, in my opinion. But it's not what gets him the minutes on the pitch. That's his, his team ethic and his work rate without the ball and, and his desire to get on the ball. Um, what tops it off is that little bit of magic with his feet as well. How pleased are you with Ollie McBurney's contribution? You just feel like if he gets that goal, then he could really go on a run. Listen, he was top class today. There's no denying it. Anyone who's been at the game, ask any Blackburn defender. All our best bits tended to come through Ollie. The pleasing thing was he was on the end of a lot of chances that were created and he also created his own. Um, and, and any striker, if you are managing to do that, then you're going to score goals. And as I said, their keeper had one of those days where everything just seemed to hit him. And despite getting beat 3-0, he had one of those days. I mean, Rian, when Rian came on, exactly the same. I don't know how much he knew about a lot of them, but it was uh, yeah one of those days which has been really, really good, but frustrating at the same time. Top of the league, I know no one here will be getting carried away with that, of course, after five games. But it must be pleasing with the way your side have made a, a good start to the campaign, especially yeah. considering what happened last season as well. Yeah, we started well. Um, the league's irrelevant. If we're there in 40 games' time, then it's important. But the table's irrelevant. It's the performances, it's how we approach things, it's trying to build something that, that's strong enough to last throughout the season. Um, yeah, he, honestly, we're sitting there, people talk about, yeah, it's great. Um, However, we know, I know, the players know, everyone knows how tough this league is and the moment you get above yourself, it's going to bite you. So we've got arguably one of the toughest games of the season next yeah, next week, Friday night, away at Luton and we need to approach it in the same way. Yeah, finally a rare midweek off, of course, before Luton, but not too much time to sit back really because another game following Luton on a Tuesday night against Reading yeah, as well. Yeah, so like I say, it's... Listen, we wanted to beat West Brom in the Cup. <clears throat> Regardless, we, we were disappointed, or I was personally, but looking back on that now, actually, it may be a blessing with the little niggles we picked up and then the schedule would have meant today, Tuesday, then Friday again and the following Tuesday, Saturday. So, yeah, actually taking the positives out of it, <clears throat> it's going to allow us to prepare properly for Luton 
um, and also, you know, um, get some freshness back into a few bodies who's played a lot of games. Hold on to it. Cheers.